you were supposed to be more of a nurse or a doctor. What really happened? Sorry. My name is Bitumelo. I come from Botswana. I confirm this prophecy to be true because from a young age I have been a bright person. Uh, I was a, a bright student. And, uh, but because of the situations at home and the passing of my brother, I became disturbed and I did not do well uh, in my Form 5. Um, I confirm also that uh, this is true because I did try to apply for a nursing school which is located in Lubate in my country and uh, I was not successful but I remember that I did yes apply for a nursing school. I am struggling right now. There is no peace in my household. My mother is, is without peace. There is so much disappointment, rejection that I'm going through. By the grace of God, I managed to uh, get a job when I work. I'm a banker and... That wasn't your job. <laughs> She's like... She's like my mother. Yes, man of God, that's why I am here, just to understand. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Because so, my mother is like, she's, there's no peace in, in, in the house. Once upon a time, there was uh, an issue of a brother. The brother goes sick. That's my brother. That's your brother. That's my This is what brought a confusion. They deceived your mom to bring the sangomas, to bring yes, witch doctors in the house. That is where your mom yes, got stranded. The stomach yes. nearly killed your mom. The stomach that almost took her life. I confirm the prophecy of the man of God to be true. Because my mother afterwards, she suffered a lot and she had a problem with the stomach. As a result, her womb had to be removed. So that was a very, very uh, painful issue. We went through a lot. She went through a lot. Her life almost was lost. So my mother tried to find help. She went around to consulting witch doctors. That is where everything got stranded by the name of Jesus. This is a time for deliverance. Uh, Sister Betumelo from Botswana. The Lord Jesus Christ delivering her right now. Oh, these sangomas and their witchcraft. In Jesus' holy name. And let me remind you of the tall sangoma. Oh, this was the worst. Of the tall sangoma. Yes, man of God, I do confirm that we, my mother used to take us and consult with sangomas, but at the but time. The tall one. Yes, man of God. You said, oh. You fear? Yes. I never really liked Sangomas. I remember there was a witch doctor that uh, was brought to the house. Uh, he performed a lot of things. So I was very, very scared. And uh, even up to this day, I still see a figure uh, sometimes in my dreams when I am sleeping. A tall figure. So a, a man-like figure. And um, I confirm the prophecy of the man of God to be true. This is where... The accident wanted to finish you people? Yes, man of God. I confirm this prophecy. It's a very, very truth. And it's 100% truth. Because um, I remember one time I was traveling from the main city to into another village. We were going for a funeral of a choir member. And uh, I was driving alone in my car. And I had missed a turn to the village where I was supposed to go. And this is a highway, the main road. And I reluctantly uh, reversed and tried to go back. And as I did, out of nowhere, um, uh, as I was turning, there were cars that were coming. I didn't even realize. I just saw a spark by the mirror of my car. And to God be the glory that I am here and he has saved me. That was a car that was meant to, to, to hit me. And I cry even up to this, this day when I remember uh, that, that, that day. And I thank God for, for the grace that I'm still here. Go and take care of your mom. Everything will be all right.